Hello everyone and welcome today to more Zone of the Enders HD edition and today well we already played this one so obviously we're going to try out Zone of the Enders the second runner um, just only a couple hours after I have beaten the campaign of the first game <laughs> so we're def I'm definitely interested to see what they did in however many years it took for them to develop the second game but um I, one thing I did confirm that I was saying a Since lot during... History, oh shit, here we go, an intro. Have realized various forms of intro with no subtitles. With them. So where does such energy like Metatron lead our civilization? Who knows? Who cares? It's a Kojima Productions cutscene. MR-1422. Callisto, a satellite of Jupiter. That's unusual. Ooh, look at this intro. Indications of Metatron. It's a cutscene. I mean, uh, anime. The Metatron is not very deep. And it's very strong. It wasn't here last time I came. What the hell is that? It's a sped up cutscene, but it's a cutscene nonetheless. Okay, so it looks like he found something here. Ada? What's she doing here? <laughs> Produced by Hideo Kojima, so of course it makes no sense. You idiot. Two years later, 2174. Yeah, what happened? Balram's war potential is very strong. The Space Force put up a stubborn resistance, but without a major war, Mars was occupied by Balram in a flash. Oh, Mars awesome. Ready, getting ready. So Mars went to shit, basically. Only these two machines can make Almon move or stop. Yep, it is her. It's Ada and Jehuti. So it still exists. Right, Maybe. I thought it was locked away in that base, though, Maybe taking to Mars. It sure is. Who's the commander? Our jet. Is that you, Viola? Yeah, I remember Viola, but she's dead. There's no way Viola's back. Neftis. Ooh, look, the gameplay's different. Completely. I don't need to fucking watch gameplay when I could be playing the game. <laughs> yeah. What the hell am I doing with my time? I thought it was gonna be, you know, a cool intro. A cool anime style intro, but nope, it's just freaking trailer, so I don't need that. I can play the game myself, thank you. I don't know why they insist on doing that. That's something you do for an arcade or something you do when you showcase the game in a store. You could definitely see the Metal Gear influence in this game, without a doubt. How the opening look, uh, what's it called? The menus look exactly like Metal Gear Solid 2. All right, so AD 2174. It's going to basically be the exact same thing I just watched, but it's going to be an actual intro. Galisto. Yep. Oh, just another day drilling ice. What a very nice way to open this playthrough by breaking the ice. A gigantic barge. Looks like a flying sword. MR-1422. Dingo Egret. Unlocked. Okay, and it's time for you to commit suicide, falling down to the ice. Angie, I remember now. The winner of the year was Hesperia Gales. No idle talk, you'll crash, Dingo. In the final 30 seconds, Henry T trashed out from field out. He's talking about some stupid sport. We had a great time flying night. through this valley. 20 to touchdown. Can't wait for the new season. 
Position for there he is. The people on Mars can start getting excited. Guy from that background in Metal Gear. That's unusual. What is? Indications of Metatron, but it's way too shallow. Angie, I want to change the landing point. I'll check it out. Okay. Rick, you hear that? I'll be back soon. Dingo, what team won in 66? I don't know much about back then. Uh, yeah, who cares about stupid Olympics from hundreds of years ago? Olympics are boring anyway. <laughs> there goes your entire salary again. To he bet his entire salary. What an idiot. What a schmuck. I guess it's time for you to be homeless again, eh, Dingo? Dingo, I think the Metatron reaction is from the direction of the arrow. Oh, good. Look how fast this thing goes. Oh, who's ready for some exciting work? What's this do? What the? There we go. It's like a boost. Slowly boost my way around. What? Shut up. I'm not even flying. I'm walking. Dingo, haven't you arrived yet? Oh, I don't know how to fly. Oh, here we go. Is this it? No. All you can do is jump. So, no, I haven't arrived yet. Uh, so you mean to say I have to slowly walk? I'm pushing this thing hard. I don't care. What's going to happen? Am I going to blow up? <laughs> Good, because mining in the middle of this frozen waste is totally what I wanted to do with my life. Wish this goddamn chick would stop hitting on me. Oh, here we go. That worked out pretty nicely. You're supposed to jump up and then boost. I'm on the ground. The Metatron is not very deep. And it's very strong. It wasn't here last time I came. Going back. Going back. Going what the? Shut going up. back? Why? It Investigate it. it. Oh, sweet. These are goofing off again. <laughs> What the hell is that? What the fuck? It's a box. Is this where Santa Claus keeps his presents? I found something interesting. I'll check it out. Hatch unlocked. Where? A helmet. Wear a helmet, you son of a bitch. You can't breathe in outer space. I've got a bad feeling. What? Look, look. Anime style cutscenes? Dude, this is sick. They definitely stepped this up. An orbital frame. Uh, oh shit. What's happening, Angie? What ship did you see? Ah! Angie! Under attack. Damn. The warship? It must be borrowed. These assholes are still at it years later. Yep, here they come. Well, if they're here, in full force, we obviously know what must be inside that box. No surprise there. Well, so much for that one. My liver's damaged. Damn Barum. Barum? From Mars? How can you tell? Get your ship down into the ditch, and stay hidden. Who else would cause this much destruction? Oh, sweet. I can't even tell what's happening. It's too dark inside that container. Oh, we got in the cockpit. I could tell that much. Damn, I'm trying to crush him. Good morning. Ready for combat operation. Ada? Who? Oh, see, I didn't even know it was plummeting down to oblivion. The game, it was too dark for me to tell.
Well, I think we killed it. After that massive struggle from the first game, I think it's all over. Of course not. Back and better than ever. Jehuti! Okay, normal raptors. Pop in! <laughs> 10 gamer score for doing nothing. Yep, same commands as everything. Oh, I want to burst. What is the efficiency of this frame? This is orbital frame Jehuti. Do you want It's designed to fuck shit up. The frame? Who is this? This is detached backup battle unit, Ada. So this is a battle computer, isn't it? More reliable than the Lev's navigators. I'm completely different. Do you request control instructions? Yes, Ada. Please. Ah, uh, do I need to? Let's see if there's anything new. Please choose Move. What training you want to go through. Ring radar. What's ring radar? Combo smash. All right, so I'll read some of these. Let's read guard first. They change I guard. Will explain how to guard yourself. But Actually, wait. There might be an achievement for watching all these. I'll just do it, just cause. And can block enemy attacks. Why not? There was one in the first game. But not all attacks can be blocked. Yeah, I see. Same as before. Throws and power attacks cannot be guarded. You have to dodge them. Or beat them to it. Whichever one you pick. You cannot guard yourself from enemy burst attacks or grab attacks. You just gotta get out the way. Ending the explanation about guarding. So cool the way they changed this franchise, man. Oh, okay, well they immediately throw you into the try function. I don't need to try. Uh, so we'll watch them again, just cuz. Why not? I will explain about moving. Jehuti is controlled by input from the left stick. Yep. Move around. Press the Y button to ascend. Press the A Ooh, button. Ooh, look, the buttons are shinier and everything. Press RT <laughs> while moving. Yes, game yeah. of the year, the buttons are shinier. Holding down RT keeps you dashing. I see. This is very effective to move quickly or dodge enemy attacks. Look at him, just dashing back and forth. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Ending the explanation about moving. Reminds me so much of F Zero mixed with some Transformers. It's really, really unique. A really unique attacks. taste. When the enemy is at long distance range, the lock on marker turns green. It yep. turns red when the enemy is at close range. Well, that's more orange, but you know, I'll give him that. When the target is distant, press the X button, which will fire a shot. Oh, hey, it looks like it actually does damage in this game. In a close range okay, battle, here you go. Initiate a slashing attack by pressing the X button. Ending the explanation about normal attack. It's hard to believe that Hideo Kojima actually designed this whole franchise, or you know, as the main backer of this franchise, for someone who loves to make hour and a half long cutscenes about nukes and freaking deterrence. About dash attacks. Who really could actually make something entertaining? Press the X button while dashing. All right, that's being too harsh. <laughs> In a close range battle. A dash attack becomes a dash blade. Yep. Get you behind them and I'll let you attack them. In a long what the hell are those battle, things? You can lock on to multiple enemies by pressing the X button. You can fire a homing laser by releasing it. What the? Whoa, whoa, whoa. I need to try that one out. How do you lock on to multiple enemies? Consume power. Oh, you're kidding me. That's gonna cost me sub gauge power. The longer you hold down the X button, the more enemies you can lock onto. Alright, I see. 
I got how it works. Enemies at once, your sub gauge will be restored even more. 